guys this is nagur babu from durga software solutions in this video i am going to explain how to execute non select sql queries by using execute method so how to execute non select sql queries by using execute method right this is a content so let me open eclipse ide already we opened that let me prepare a java project java project let me provide information jdbc app 8 project name and java 1.8 version and everything is okay click on next button libraries are required add external jar o jdbc 6.0 file open it and finish button let me prepare java class right click on src new and class package i want to provide com dot durga soft now here name is jdbc app 8 now public static void main string array ax finish button all right first of all in the main method we have to provide throws keyword throws exception by because some predefined methods of jdbc will throw out some exceptions to handle them or to bypass them to the jvm that use throws exception the main method prototype so here our concept is executing non select sql query with execute method so as a first step we need to go for class dot for name method and here we need to go for like uh, oracle dot jdbc dot oracle driver type for driver provided by oracle database next one i want to establish connection connection con is equal to driver manager dot get connection three parameter method i want to take first one is type for driver oracle implementation jdbc colon oracle colon thin colon at the rate local host colon 1521 colon xe then after that we need to provide system and here we need to provide password that would be which one local semicolon it's okay connection object is created next one we have to create statement object statement java.sql st is equal to con dot create statement after this our requirement is executing non select sql query by using execute method so boolean b is equal to st dot execute of non select sql query we have to provide now i want to write it update emp1 set uh, esl is equal to esl plus 500 where esl less than 10000 update emp1 set esl is equal to esl plus 500 where esl less than 10000 like this query we have we have provided clearly after this i want to display that boolean value all right in the case of execute method if execute select sql query execute method will return true value if execute non select sql query with execute method then it will return false value clearly so false value we are going to be displayed right when jvm encounter this in a section boolean b is equal to st dot execute method and a non select sql query jvm will take that non select sql query that is update sql query jvm will submit that update sql query to jdbc driver jdbc driver will submit that non select sql query to connection connection will carry that non select sql query to database engine where database engine will execute that non select sql query database engine will perform updations on database table and identifying row count value that row count value is given back to the the respect to uh, connection connection will carry that row count value to jdbc driver jdbc driver will send that row count value to java program at java program row count value is available now here my requirement is what exact the row count value is coming to java program that row count value i want to get see to execute update sql query if you use execute update method execute update method will execute that update sql query row count value is created that row count value will be available at java program directly that row count value will be written by execute update method 
but here we are not using execute update method here we are using execute method execute method will return row count value no doubt about it but uh, as per the predefined implementation execute method will return false as a boolean value in this case but row count value is available at java program exactly in this particular situation to get uh, the generated row count value explicitly statement has provided one method here that method would be and row count is equal to st dot get update count is a method name clearly the method would be which one get update count method so whenever we are getting update and get update count method then directly here we can display the data and directly row count value row count plus row count value here we are able to display fine then after that we are able to close all the resources what we open s3 dot close and then finally con dot close completed so this is jdbc program how to execute non select sql queries with the execute method if you observe the database previously we have records like a 5000 6000 7000 and 8000 in our database but if i execute this program it will perform updations on database table and it able to provide some value false value we are getting why we are getting false value executing non select sql query with execute method so definitely it will return false value next one is row count value what is the row count value we are getting there no four it means that four records are updated four records are updated in our database table now observe this here clearly if you open that select sql query select start from emp1 previously we are having data 5000 6000 7000 8000 but now we are getting 5500 6500 7500 8500 clearly that's all